have opened. The timer has started. Welcome to your weekly dose of post-apocalyptic mayhem. In the year 2115, a Penance RPG production. Welcome to episode 11 of 2115. Who are you, what are you, and how are you feeling after your relaxing time at the beach? Starting with Susie. Hi, I'm Susie Q. I'm playing Dr. Frances Stein, the Technomancer Halfling, and she's feeling quite conflicted about their trip to the beach, because on one hand it was very successful, because we may have found a fuel source. On the other hand, her knee was blown out and she has joined the Missing Leg Club. <laughs> so yeah, mixed feelings about the trip to the beach. So you'd do it again though. Fair enough. Next is Rowan. Hi, I'm Rowan. I'm playing Index as a little lab rat. And after the trip to the beach, she's probably feeling pretty pumped, honestly. Crab cult all the way. Fantastic. Next is Dragon. Hello, I'm playing Irwaz. After the trip to the beach, well, Airbus was a bit 50-50 on going at all, and now they mostly just want to have some nice clean water and go for a swim, preferably away from all of the crazy people. Fair enough. Next is Bellary. Hello, it's me, Bellary. Also, Officer Tyre, local policeman and Tyre. I feel like my rub has perished a bit because of weird suspect water, but hopefully we will find a solution, hint hint, and it won't end up like poor tax. <laughs> or maybe it'll be a long protracted death, who knows. We may never care. <laughs> Harsh! Oh, yikes. Uh, I, I guess I'll just go then, fine, sure, whatever. <laughs> and finally is Tom. Hey yo, Tam Tam, Rumba, loves music. How am I feeling about the trip to the beach? For some strange reason, there's the words crab and rave keep coming back up in the middle of my databanks. I'm not quite sure. It's a music file, but it seems to be encrypted. I'll, I'll work on it and I'll, I'll let you know. I see. Sure. So no Amy this week because she's not feeling well. No John, still not heard anything of John. Is he still asleep? Oh wait, it's John. So what happened last week? Um, went to the beach. <laughs> I made a rocket launcher and shot a crab with it. Yeah. You did, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. We discovered yeah. that we could make low grade helicopter fuel from this lake that we found and nearly got ourselves killed by a giant fucking crab. We kissed goodbye to the lovingly crafted story and went to the beach for a lovely day out. <laughs> it, it was, was a lovely day out. It was grim. Your was is not convinced by this at all. I mean, crab cult though. No? No. No! In fairness, she's mostly tuna. She sees crabs and she's like, oh, that should be food. That thing's too big to be food, it should not exist. No, that thing's too big to be food, therefore we should worship it. Or oh, it could just be a lot of food. I agree with this. I think it's an awful lot of food. I'm not sure I want to eat anything that was in that water though. Or maybe, you know, like those super buff cows, maybe it's like them and they're not very tasty. Because there's like no fat, it's all just muscle. I mean, crab meat doesn't generally have fat anyway. Yeah, just kind of be normal crab. Yeah. Well, it's like I can think of like enlarged animals, those really buff crabs. <laughs> the only thing I can think that would make the meat taste bad would be the fact that they were living in a mixture of some sort of crude oil and water. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't think it was pretty horrific. Good. I think they bled blue or green or some alarming colour. 
I feel like crabs oh, well, have well, well, copper blood anyway. Horseshoe crabs do. Proper blood? Yeah. Horseshoe, Horseshoe crabs, crabs have cyan copper. blue blood, and yeah. it's... I can't remember what it's used for. But there's no substitute, so they still have to tap them out of live crabs, and it has a really high mortality rate, and probably have to find a substitute yeah. soon. It is yeah. worth a fortune as well. Oh, absolutely. Well, crab blood you know. is worth a fortune. Yeah. And yes, it is blue. Well... Were these crabs bleeding blue then? Or was well, it green? It's because instead of iron is the like oxygen carrying part, they use copper. Isn't that true of Vulcans as well? I don't know what Vulcan blood's made of. Vulcan it might be copper. It might Vulcan not be. Vulcan blood is copper and it's green. Yeah, it's green. That's what I thought. But these crabs, and particularly these big crabs, did they bleed blue? Or was it green? Blue. I think it was blue. blue. But they were definitely affected by whatever water they were living in. Oh yeah. We didn't try the meat. Actually, did any bits of the crab land on the helicopter? Uh, it's a shame we didn't. It was it's sh inside the helicopter. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't oh, think to grab any meat and take it home and try it. We yeah, didn't actually kill the crab. You just got it badly injured and left. That's true. As its we don't know what's it actually dead. Rose up from behind it. To be fair, we blew off half its shell. I think it's dead. If it wasn't, it's dead, then eventually. it's probably been eaten by now. Hmm. Because I mean, there's more than one crab in there. Apparently, they can synthesize the enzyme that they get from horseshoe crab now. Okay. Horseshoe crab yeah. How cheaply can they do it, though? Mm. Question. I'd know. Six thousand. I'd know. It's, it comes from a response to a question, which is, "Who can I sell my horseshoe crabs to?" <laughs> Subcategory yeah, no is selling horseshoe crab blood illegal, and in some places it is. Fascinating. I know. Anyway, helicopter. Yeah, that happened. Yes. Aren't we back at base? You are back at base. Yeah. I think we're back at base. We definitely need to clean out the engine because it's going to be quite nasty after a combination of beach and not very good fuel. Yeah. With all the fluffies. Um, and the fly, who's the guard dog? Or guard fly, I guess. Now we're back at base. The doctor would like to sit down and rebuild her knee. That sounds sensible. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Do you think I could put the remains of my tyre in the replicator to make tyre patches? No, because they'd be breathing, remember? They would be alive and also would be 20 times the size it was meant yes. to be. Yeah, so then we'll put a piece that's like only a 20th of the size. I still think it'll just be easier to find you a new tyre. Also, we could kill the bits of tyre or it would be like self-healing. I don't think I like this plan. Oh, this sounds like a plan that might go fantastically, but also might go horribly wrong. Yeah, the dice gods tend to not smile favorably. I was going to say, we should just go back to Dennis's trailer and steal the wheels off his trailer and take the tire off the wheel. Give me that I one. Guess. I guess. Although that said, it does tend to be the more ridiculous plans that get the higher rolls. Or we could, you know, walk around for two minutes and probably find several cars with appropriate tyres. I have no legs, that's really inoffensive. That's the opposite, it's really offensive. Fair enough. Alright, so where did we get to? We're back at base and everyone is keeping themselves occupied. I would like to rebuild my knee. Alright. Um, would it be possible to, like, build some sort of image capture thing into my knee? <laughs> Image right. capture thing into your knee. So you want a camera in your knee? Essentially, yeah. <laughs> why is that why you want a camera? Because that's uh, where she's working on just now? I mean, I guess it just seems like an awkward place for a camera. Not when you're a halfling. You could potentially, I mean, but you, you've not picked up anything that you could scrap to make one, but you could pick, right. make one if you find something. Okay. okay. Don't we have those eyes somewhere? Or do we give them all away? We gave all we but one, one of them away, I think. No, I'm just trying to think of some cool augment to add to my knee while I'm at it. Something that um, would maybe give me some sort of intelligence bonus. But it is my knee, knee so... Rocket yeah, knee. But that's, yeah, but that's just like one side, so it'd be like, pew, you know, it's like, whoa, you know. You attach it to the back of your knee, and then you use it when you want to knee someone in the stomach. Oh my god, <laughs> like, like My Hero Academia with one of the characters. What's he called? Ida, yes. He has rocket shins. <laughs> rocket shins. Rocket carbs, sorry. Oh god. Oh, it's much more sensible than rocket shins. Rocket cars. Mm. Indeed, indeed. But yes, I think considering you took apart Tex and Terry's yeah. legs, you can probably build yourself a vague knee and foot. Okay. If I've rebuilt my leg then, I that's assume fine. you rebuilt your leg in the, the downtime. 
So the next morning comes around and you hear the ears start crackling again. What do you do? Can I just say, might be wise not to mention the crab. <laughs> this is true. He'll probably want the oil, so let's just yeah. pretend. Yes. Say that it might be able to produce oil, don't say that we've actually managed to produce it. Mm. Well, remember how excited he got about the helium? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I'm going to pick up, well, I'm going to respond to the ear. Good morning, Mr. E. Where have you been? I've been trying to reach you for the last day. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We, um, were detained. What can we do for you? What's that buzzing in the background? <laughs> Spread the fly. <laughs> um, the doctor has a giant fly. What? Yes. Yeah. Like a hovercraft? No, no, like a, a house fly, but giant. Yeah. Like a blue bottle. It's very loud and very annoying. I His see. name's Fred. I see. Well, anyway, apparently when you helped Terry, there was someone taking pictures. Oh. Oh, yeah. I see. And we found out where he is, and we'd like you to go and retrieve these pictures, shall we say. Okay, we can do that. Yes. Well, if you also encounter the photographer, please just help him out a window. Oh, I'm sure we can manage that. Do you have any information about them? Well, they're about middle age, I guess. I think they're elvish. Okay. They're quite paranoid, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a name, boss. We don't talk about her attire. I, I'm in the photographer. Oh, right. <laughs> he seems to be going by the name of Wilkson. You know, it was uh, 15 years ago yesterday, right? She never remembered you, Tyre. You drank too much. <laughs> oh, a business job! <laughs> Incredibly awkward. It was hard. You don't know how hard I had it. Shut up, Tyre. Oh. Do we have a location for this target? It's the derelict building. It gives you coordinates. Okay. It tells you it's the top floor of the derelict building. Cool. And as you look outside, you hear the sound of heavy rainfall. Ooh. How many of us is that going to short circuit? And is it acid rain? Do we have an umbrella? Not that I'm aware of. We do have a van. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't. We have a we chopper. We left ice cream van at we the elf place. In the van? Yeah. Yeah. Because we ran away in the helicopter. I mean, we could no. go looking for a van on the way. I mean, if we find a van, I'd quite like to take one of the toys. Probably Maybe there'll be a spare. Can acquire a van at the target. Is the rain actually going to be a problem? I assume Tam Tam is vaguely waterproofed. I mean, I've got a titanium casing which will stop. You know, my circuits from getting wet in yeah, most... The next, the next I guess it depends. Is it a downpour or is it, like, sp spitting? It's a heavy downpour. Mm -hmm. I like to think that I've made Tam Tam to be pretty waterproof, like welded shut in places. Also, if Index is riding on top of Tam Tam, I imagine Index would be smart enough to put an umbrella there. <laughs> it's oh, just like a a it's actually just a parasol. She's got like a deck chair and a parasol on top. No, no, that strange like what do you call it? Triangle mm. coming at the top that lengthens out into an actual umbrella, and I can just sit up there. No way, really? I never knew it could do that. Yes. There's, like a, there's like a whole marquee on top of. <laughs> you probably add to it. Is there anything else um, you want to ask Mister E before he goes away? Yes. Does he have any good music to share? I what like music. Is... Uh, not to my knowledge, no, but I can find some for you. Thank you very much. Did you, uh, did you leave any flowers this year? Petunias were a favorite. <laughs> Goodbye, Tyre. No, are we getting paid for this? <laughs> In music, hopefully. But I mean, the ear goes silent after Tyre's coming. It's just, just we're running out of crackers. In fairness, we can usually find enough to count as payment. It's true. We're quite good I, at scouting. 
Thank I'm you. curious now, what was Ty's daughter's name? Cuberta. Because she was a cube. <laughs> That sounds about right. Yeah. One sec, I said this. I said this the other day, last week. <laughs> yep. You're right there. <laughs> oh dear, we've lost them. So, the ear goes silent. What are you going to do now? I guess we um, start towards the building that he told us to go towards. I guess. Yeah, I think the index is glad she's deaf, so she didn't hear any of that. <laughs> That's probably good. Are you taking any cautions just... with the weather, or are you just going to just trudge through the rain? What are you going to do? Well, Irwaz has no issues with the weather. This is quite nice. I um, bet. But I imagine for others, we could probably rig up some sort of umbrella-ish contraptions, yeah. or just some waterproof fabric. Just put a top of me, Ed. By oh, head, yeah. I mean. We've self. got oil. You just need to oil some cloth in there. That yeah. Waterproof. Let's grease up Tam Tam. Let's not grease up Tam Tam. Mm, uh, yeah. I would like the journey as an opportunity to look for another replacement tire and also petunias. Right. Okay. Can I waterproof some fabric for yep. Tam Tam? Yep. Because I don't want them to short. Thank some. you. Are you doing any for the doctor or officer tire? Do either of them want it? Ah, uh, the doctor I feel like, get wet. I feel like, yeah, like, tire's probably fine, especially if he finds a replacement tire. Yep, only Tam Tam needs it. Alright. And Index can hide inside if she wants to, so it's well, all good. I'm glad she's deaf, otherwise she'd be my sort god. of deafened by all the drumming on Tam Tam. Mm, oh my god, maybe it makes nice musical sounds. Ooh. I'm going to record the sound of rain, actually, because that sounds like a nice thing to have on record. I just had a mental image of Tam Tam with, like, a little yellow rain mac on, and it's, it's a really adorable mental image. <laughs> just thought a chair. <laughs> all right, so you all make your way out of the base and up the stairs. Are you going just straight along the road? Are you going to go find, try and find a car or a tyre first? What are you going to do? I think we're going to head along the road. Yeah, like, keep, and as we yeah. go, just keep an eye out down side streets for any vehicle. Because the doctor is looking for one to steal. So a van that would take us all would be good. For a little seven-seater. How many of us is there? Two, one, two, three, four. I feel like we could put Tam Tam and Index in the glove box, so. I'm not that yeah, small. There's six of us, so we could... Yeah, we could eh? get a little... We could fit in, like, a little board focus. But Lottie's not here right now. I'm thinking like yeah. long term here, so. Yeah. Well, I'd like to be fair, asleep. I don't need my own seat. Yeah. Lottie is a cat. She is asleep. Yeah. But because Dr. Stein is a halfling, do you need a child seat? Well, that's very it offensive. You'd want to drive the van. Yeah, but like, legit, if, she, if like, you're really short, like, and you can't see over the wheel. I imagine oh, no. she stands on the chair and then hops down onto all of the pedals. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like an automatic and I use a stick <gasps> to like yeah. reach the pedals. Yeah, yeah probably. Easily done. Or you just like tie bricks either, to your shoes. Yeah, either way, so far I've been successfully driving helicopters and vehicles, so I'm obviously found a, a way. Point. That is the fair I point. They all came with child booster seats as stand. Yeah, I mean, come on, like, we are in a fantasy world, halflings are a thing. You, maybe you can, like, you know how you can adjust your seat up and down and backwards and forwards, and you can adjust the steering wheels? Maybe now you can adjust the pedals. Speaking yeah. of halflings flying helicopters, what happened to the dwarf? Yeah! Oh my god! Where's Stan? Is he just, is, is he just is in he our just... base? Yeah, I assume he's just in your base somewhere. He's babysitting the fluffies. He's curled up with, like, Lossie yeah. and Goldie just on a mattress somewhere. Yep. The snow's in ironically swearing in his sleep. <laughs> Sounds about right. We've adopted a dwarf. <laughs> we named him Stan. And a giant fly. <laughs> and God. kind of a pool full of giant crabs. <laughs> And an uh, army of, like, sentient bears. If we can band together a little group, we have a mini army. Yeah, but it's not a very effective army, is it? No, but it doesn't have to be. A dwarf called Stan, an army of fluffy teddy bears who just want to be friends with everyone. I mean, come on. Yeah, but how much... think how good cannon fodder the bears would make. 
nobody would want to shoot them for a start. Oh my god, you're so right. It's just an army of teddy bears runs up, distracts them, and then the crabs come. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the crabs would be pretty terrifying if you can corral them. Yeah, I think they the crabs are our hardest. Them. Yeah, because we know the crabs don't like us. <laughs> we can make them like us, though. <laughs> With yeah, sacrifice. Do, I, mean, I mean, to be fair, I could just clickety-clack at them until they're annoyed enough that they follow me and then just sort of guide them towards the bad guys. That's mm -hmm. also true. But we are keeping an eye out for a suitable vehicle. Yes. Do you want me to roll for tire watching? Roll <laughs> foraging. Yeah, I don't have foraging. I, mean, I have look foraging. For a car, roll foraging. Okay. <laughs> 21. <laughs> There's a car! Yep, basically the doctor walks up, goes, There's a car! Smashes the side window if any of you can react. Puts a hand in, starts hot wiring it while you're all looking on. Can I check the boot of this van for a spare tire? Yep. I give a round of applause to our group's car person. <laughs> Thank you. Driver on driver. Oh no, this is the perfect time for her to give you an active demonstration of how to hot. Because we've had this discussion, like, you guys were gonna go hot wiring. And didn't know how to do it, so let me okay. show you all. Make sure you, like, look at me as so I can lip-read. Okay, I'll <laughs> try. Image of, like, the window smash, the doctor starts, <laughs> stops, turns to index and goes, No! This is how you are wire a car! <laughs> Ta-da! Ready to go. <laughs> Alright, if both the doc and index just do a normal roll, and we'll see if they're close to each other, then index is learned. If they're far apart, then index still has no idea. Okay. okay. Hey! Natural hey. 20 though, you do pick up a lot of it, but you don't understand the spinal bits of it, but you do understand the basic concept. Next time you can do it and I'll talk you through it. Cool. Come on everybody in the car. So all of you get in the van, <laughs> Officer Tyre finds another tyre in the back. So I assume he can change somehow into having a tyre. I don't know how that works. Just look me on the way guys, I'm getting changed. <laughs> No hey. peeking. My heart belongs to one person. This piece is the question. Okay. Laundry. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask. Yeah, it's like a frilly bra gets thrown <laughs> in the background. I do love how Officer Attire Mr. E became canon. Yeah. <laughs> so, you've now got yourself a van. What colour is this van? Let's just do a random roll and see. It's sunshine yellow. Yay! With polka dots. Yes! Actual 20, you can choose what colour they are. So it's yellow with polka dots of whatever colour you want. Also <laughs> yellow. <laughs> a different a shade different of yellow. A different shade, yeah. No, no, no exactly. No, 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 like a giant like block of cheese. Tiny bit lighter. Just so it's annoying. You look yeah. like a giant block of cheese. <laughs> Perfect. It was a cheese fan in my head. Yep, so you've now got a cheese van. What do you want to do now? <laughs> it's weirdly triangle shaped. <laughs> it's got an unnatural wedge on the roof, yeah, that makes it look like a block of cheese, yeah. Please tell me this exists. Come on, internet, cheese van. <laughs> Have you seen the cheese hotel? No. Oh my god, I there's, like, there's a hotel and they're really big on cheese, but like. Everything in it is decorated to look like cheese. It's unreal. Oh god. That's crazy. Vaguely horrific. It's... Yeah. Unfortunate is the word, I think. Let's see the front of the van is like the one Delry linked to it's like straight, like a slow <laughs> down <laughs> with poke up eyes. I love it's got, it. Got flappy eyes and it's completely slope all the way up. So if someone ran at you and you managed to sort of dip down in the last minute, they would just ride up you and fly off. Oh god. So, you've now got a van, what do you want to do? Drive yes. towards the place, I guess. Yeah. Right. Go get us some photographs back. Right. Throw someone out a window. Help them out the window. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I can be pretty good at convincing people. Right. Usually so... just by, like, screaming death metal, but it's very convincing. So, you arrive outside this very dilapidated old building. It looks like it's one of the few buildings that survived a long, long time. As you look inside, it looks like the roof's not all there, and there's lots of water just running down the inside. It looks like there's steps going up, but there's like a like one of those like traditional like traditional buildings that's got this like metal railing all the way up, very elaborate metal railing and sort of metal panels all the way up the sides. But the stairs mm. themselves look very slippery. 
What do you want to do? What kind of slippery? Just looks soaking like... wet, and even if it was a sunny day, they don't look like they would be dry. It smells strongly of damp. Hmm. Okay. If hmm. I was to deploy my wheel spikes for traction, would that help? You can try if you want. Wheel spikes. Yeah, man, spikes in the wheels. I mean, I, I, we figured on account of, you know, wheel and spike it's, both being the same. It's a fairly descriptive name, yeah. It is. <laughs> what do you want for wheel spikes? Just do a natural roll and we'll see where it goes. God damn it. Yeah, maybe not. Uh -oh. So, the officer tire, he starts off with a tire, then you hear the as these like massive spikes come out the sort of midpoint of the doll around the tire, and he starts basically like grinding through the stairs, trying to go upwards, leaving a massive like divot up the middle of them. I thought you were going to say that, you know, the spikes come out, pop! And immediately burst his new tire because they weren't designed yeah. with the spikes in mind. Burst his new tire. I didn't realize that would be a, a potential thing, so I guess I'm just going to have to leave them out now. Yep, so you draw them again, your tire will burst. Yep. But yeah, you're kind of slicing through right. the stairs, beginning to slip, almost get fully through the stairs. Well, maybe he shouldn't be going up the stairs first. Yeah. I'm going to go up with index. I'm going to run we... up the banister like a rat. Well, I mean, you could just sit on me and just wait for me to float up but yeah sure yeah. go for it exercise oh yeah you need to get yeah. all the exercise you know retrain your muscles i've been carrying you around a lot lately time to so, use my legs so what's the doctor Leg. and oh, doing? Doing legs. well how yeah. many stairs has tam oh not tam time how many stairs has officer tire destroyed only the first floor oh just to the first floor yeah oh good are. Isn't it wonderful he's not destroyed many of them or anything? I know, yeah, you know, just to the first floor. Look, uh, it was a good plan. You, uh, you any good at climbing, Arwa? I think oh, we've got some I'm not convinced. But... Do you not have this a grappling kind of... hook, Arwa? Could we not let me? Whoosh! Is there another entrance? Nope. I do have grappling hooks. It looks like we're climbing. Super duper! Yay! Maybe we could give the rope to Tam Tam and fly up. Like, and then tie in. it to something. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I could support your weight. My hover thrusters aren't that crazy powerful, but I could definitely pull a rope up. Yeah. That would be so I'm going to hover my way back down. The mental image of, like, Iroaz and just the doctor standing there wordlessly as the tire just chews <laughs> through. An entire floor's worth of stairs. Yeah, and just not even <laughs> surprised. Uh. Yeah. I mean, is there any point in being surprised? No. I swear, right? By the moon, the, the stars, uh, this guy. The, the dice bot is being crueler than it was like a couple of months ago. No, it's yeah, just you know it had enough easy. of your shit. So if Tam Tam can take the rope up, then all right, the Doctor and I will use that sure. to help us ascend. All right. Past what am I rolling? Retire. I was just assuming that you can get to the top. Uh, are you tying the knot yourself, or is Index helping? Or oh, um, I'd appreciate a little help. I do only have one grabber. It's hard to tie a knot with only one hand. Yeah, no, I'll help. But hard. Do I roll? Yeah, roll and see how good you're not tying is. Yep, you tie a knot that's pretty damn tight. You throw the rope down to Erwaz and the Doctor, who begin climbing their way up. Officer Tyre, can you roll me to see if you actually make it to the top of this first set of stairs? Yep, do make it. <laughs> Just. But you have Just. literally sliced down the middle of the stairwell up to where you are. <sighs> but if you think about it, right, the splintered and damaged wood would provide better grip and so it would be easier for other people to follow up. Unless they fall If they down weren't the bit in the up to the top of it. Yeah, but then you just you just don't fall down the bit in the middle, easy. Oh right, yeah. Just don't do easy. that. <laughs> just don't do that. Alright. So I uh, imagine the doctor and Nerwaz have climbed up to this point, so you're all at the same point. You look up, there's about two more floors directly above you. Is there oh. still stairs? Yes. Are they intact? The ones after this point are, yes, because Officer Tyre's not been near them yet. You How about we go up then first? <laughs> yeah. And when Officer Tyre goes up, he goes up the side of one of the stairs, not the middle. The outside, preferably. And then the bit next to the wall will still be usable, so we can get the fuck away from here in a hurry. Because that's usually what we need to do. I feel very attacked. The stairs feel very attacked. Have you seen the state of them? 
<laughs> hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. So I assume everyone else can just walk up the stairs normally. Can Officer Tyre roll me for how he gets home with the next set of stairs? Oh, poor Belry. <laughs> We're so mean to <laughs> You really are. It's very easy. Yep. Officer <laughs> Tyre manages to shred closer to the edge this time. So he's up to the next one. And just a roll for the last one, Barry. Yep, that's fine. So Officer Tyre manages to do slightly less damage on the final set of stairs. So you're all standing in this long, thin corridor. And you notice that there's a couple of rooms leading off. It's basically like flats, effectively leading off from this point. There's one right next to you. There's one slightly further down the corridor, and there's one right at the end. What do you want okay. to do? Hey, don't okay, worry, I made it, guys. Excellent. We definitely couldn't do this without you. I'm going Can to I do a awareness check? I'm wanting to listen to see if I can hear activity from All any right. of the options. Okay, roll. Can I also do that at the same yep. time? Yep. Can I? Yeah, sure. I'll roll at the same time. You're deaf. Oh, yeah. That means you probably <laughs> need to have like a minus five to your roll or something. Yeah, can you not like spell out camera equipment? I'll knock my uh, awareness from a five down to a one. <laughs> That's fine. So, Tam Tam and Nirwaz together don't hear much sound from the two nearest you, but they hear slightly more coming from the one down the end. It's a sort of strange whirring sound. Hmm. Mm hmm, interesting. Got something mechanical on the far end, but otherwise, not much noise. Something mechanical, you say? Yep. Maybe he uses like an old fashioned mechanical camera. So, we want to raid the other rooms anyway? Yes. Maybe we're here, we might as well. <laughs> We do want to raid them, we just wanted to know where people might be in advance. Alright. Do you want to check the first room then, or do you want to just go to the one at the end that's making noise? First room, please. Yeah. Alright. Are you breaking down the door? Are you knocking on the door? Are you trying to pick lock pick? What are you going to do? I'm going to Is try the handle to see if it's locked. Yeah. Try the handle first. Let's see. Is it locked? Yes. Oh. It's locked and doesn't okay. really move in your hand. Then we shall pick the lock. Alright. Whoever wants to try, roll dexterity. Who's good at lock picking? I've got a plus four. Ooh, yeah, you do it. You just managed to pick the lock, the, the door just gently opens. Immediately the stench of damp comes into your nose. Yeah. Uh, as you open the door, it looks like the roof's collapsed in on this flat. Most of it just seems to be mud and dirt. There's a couple of, like, clothes cupboards and drawers and stuff like that that might have something in it but most of it looks like it's been long abandoned. I'm going through the cupboards. Alright. You find some very faded pairs of jeans, you find a couple of very faded cloth shirts and stuff like that. Nothing really major. Do me an awareness check. At the bottom of the final drawer you look through you find a hidden hatch and as you open the hatch you find a quite large looking handgun with six bullets. Mm. Handgun. You know, I was kind of feeling bullets. sorry for whichever person or people it was that were here. I'm slightly less convinced now with the handgun. Well, I suppose mm. it is just sensible. It's not set. quite a magnum, but it's on the sort of large calibre for a handgun. Mm. Is anyone doing anything else? I mean, I'm taking the clothes. I'll probably put them on. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly, Irwaz is feeling really conflicted about this because who cares if there's photos? Like, they're going along with it, but really not convinced about... I don't know, just something about this place seems so ruined that I don't think they're much of a threat. If there's nothing else in this room, we should probably head on. Agreed. So, next room. Okay. Again, you're going to knock on the door, break the door in, what are you going to do? Again, I'm going to hide the goddamn handle. What is with you guys? I'm like busting down doors like nobody's business. There's handles on doors. I mean, I can't reach them. It's how we did it at the academy, damn it. All right, fine. Yep, the door is open. Excellent. Push the door open. It looks like it's been definitely looted. Most of the furniture inside looks smashed and left to rot. There's again mm. quite a strong smell of damp, but it seems to be the, like below the roof rather than actually like in the flat itself. Okay. There's a couple of things you can find, but most of them are like everyday items. Like, there's a bowl of wax fruit if anyone wants any of that for some reason. I'm, uh, I'm yes. good, thanks. <laughs> you never know when some wax might come in useful. 
All right. So what is it? A basket of it's wax a ball, fruit. a wooden ball, ball. of wax fruit. Why am I imagining next week a Dr. Stein goes up to someone and points the knee at them and just like a wax apple pops out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we could also try selling it to Frank. Like, you know, Frank yeah. who is now fluffy. I was going to say, sell. I don't think it's Frank in charge anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we could try selling him wax flute. He owns a plant shop. Think Eats. about them shells. Oh. So you look through, I don't think you find anything else. You just find a couple of like, odds and sods. Actually, can everyone do me an awareness check? Let's see if you find anything else. Okay. All right. The doctor walks in, immediately decides that she likes one of the paintings in the flat. She walks up, picks the painting up, and behind it, there's a safe. Nice! A can what? I try the combination seven? You can, yes. <laughs> Does seven work again? <laughs> no, it doesn't for once. Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm fresh out of ideas. Hey, have you tried eight? No! <laughs> I'll try it! Is it a combination Oh, the dice gods are unkind. Yeah. So... This time, to the GM. They are yeah, fickle. The um, safe pops open and inside there is. A very nice bronze wristwatch. There looks like some sort of pearl jewellery. There's a set of very expensive looking earrings. And there is a stack of what I'm described as old money. Can I see the pearls? Yep. Ooh, are they like actual pearls? They look genuine to you from what you can see. If you rub them against your teeth and they're slightly gritty, they're real. I shall try that. Alright, give me a roll. There's something quite horrifying about a tuna with teeth. They do seem slightly gritty to you, so they probably won't be genuine. Wow. Slightly gritty is all you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. How many pearls are there? And what colour are they? They're slightly off-white, and there's about 25 of them on this. Ooh. That's pretty good grade. Is the wristwatch still working? You hold up to your ear, you don't hear a sound. Aww. When you yeah. say old money, are you talking like groats and hapnies or like just paper money? Paper money. <laughs> Instead of seashells. Instead of seashells, <laughs> paper money. I was watching like anti Grode show the other night because it was on and one of the guys bought £15 worth of just a, a box of pennies. <laughs> That's a lot of pennies. Okay. It was to be about like a couple of kilograms worth of pennies. I see. You got nine pound for them at auction. Jeez. Yeah, you probably would have got more scrap in it. Well, it depends yeah. what age they are, and they're really difficult to scrap. I think they were all quite old ones. They looked like the old big fat penny coins. Oh, in that case, they probably have got more separating them out. Yeah, but who could be fucked? Right, so. A stack of old style money, pearls, gold earrings, bronze wristwatch. Yep. And I like the painting. What's the painting of? The painting seems to be of some sort of ballerina. Ah, that is pretty. Okay. Well, I will carefully put that to the side in the corridor to lift on the way out as we flee. As we go through, to pay attention to pearls and anything related to dance could be useful. Right. Yeah, how familiar would we be with old money? Like, how long has you just we been in a be like, seashell economy? Seems, it just seems to be a stack of paper with numbers on it. Yeah. So, so is it actually yeah. money? It's monopoly money. No, but like, yeah, I'm saying, would we know what it is? Because like, how long have we been living in a seashell-based <laughs> economy? It depends I've on heard... which corporation that had education for you, if you would know what paper money is. I have hoovered up a lot of Monopoly money over the years. I'd like to roll to see if it's Monopoly money. Sure, roll. Break I like the, the idea, a hundred years from now, people are still playing bloody Monopoly. And it destroys every family gathering. Um, I break a winning formula. It's not like any Monopoly money you've seen before, if you've seen Monopoly money. Hmm, I see. And is there anything else in this room of the painting and safe? 
Not really, no. You look through the entire place, it's been ransacked and pretty much everything's been smashed. And you're saying as well that the place is full of damp, yeah? Yep. So, like, is that normal for around here for what we've seen in regards to, like, buildings? Because I've been kind of imagining quite a deserty landscape. It's so... mostly been deserty, but there's a couple of buildings that look like they survived the most part, but then, like, crumbled quite badly and have never been repaired. Okay. Well, so is the mold and the damp here, is that just like age and festering? Yeah. Okay. Nothing. It's probably damp because of the torrential downpour. Well, I'm, I'm partly imagining some sort of damp, shambling mound monster in the basement. <laughs> probably whoever's been having a shower hasn't opened the window or whatever. Yeah. Cool. In fairness, okay. All you need to do with a shambling mound is walk away from it. I mean, yeah, it's true. Depends what it's over. True, but they're very slow. They are. Just like spray penicillin at it. <laughs> All right. Is the next one the last one? You walk up to the last flap. Immediately, as you get close to it, you smell a strong scent of ammonia. Oh. Hey, somebody's okay. been cooking kidneys in here. Or public urination. That's a crime, Officer Attire. That is a crime. I'm going to go that is probably your thing, and let's arrest anybody we find. I got some zip ties. We ready to go. Oh, yeah. So, do we want to knock on this door, or are we bursting in, or...? Just try well, the handle. I'm going to try the handle and see if it's locked. This room is definitely locked. Okay. Oh, thank God. At last. Who has locked that? Any of us have lockpicks? I think Lottie's got the lockpicks. Lottie Shit. definitely has lockpicks. You want me to lockpick it? <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. I'd say kick it down, but we got like three good legs between the lot of us. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my legs. <laughs> How many legs do we have between us? I have like two. Four? I have none. You have none. I have one Index and a has... half. All right. So Index has three. One, okay, two, three, so four, I've got five, like a third of the way. Literally. Try and unlock the door. The more you play around the lock, you can't you seem to get it to work. Will we try knocking and then like jump him? Oh, can I try again? You can try again if you want, yeah. Yep. You play around the lock, eventually you hear a k and the door gives way slightly. As you try and push it forward, you feel it being slammed back towards you and you hear a very panicked voice saying, Go away! Alright guys, we tried being all diplomatic. Door like I took down them stairs. Oh no. Everyone stand Stand back. back. Please step away from the door. Leaping back onto Tam Tam. Okay. Yep. Get in the boot, quick. I suggest you step away from the door, buddy. Okay. Roll. <laughs> Fire charges forward without his spikes out the first time and just bounces off the door. Rolls back down the hallway. Never to be seen again. Is he um, deflating now? He's deflating a little bit now. Oh, oh. I must fight to try and staunch the loss of that. Alright, you gonna try again with your spikes out this time, Barry? I mean, I'm just gonna try and stick the spikes out so I don't deflate. <laughs> Alright, okay. Yep, spikes go back out and you seem to stop deflating, but the further out your spikes get, the more you're struggling to balance. But Guys, you're gonna have to find some, like, epoxy or something. Or you could just not use the spikes. I mean, I kind of need to use them right now or else I'll deflate. Can I, like, lightly push the door open? You try and push the door, the door doesn't move. Can I knock on it? Hello? Hi, we're just here for some photos. Oh, you hear me inside? Go away! It would probably go easier for you if you let us in. No! Well, it's that or we destroy the door and then you can't have it closed, let alone locked. What about me? I'm a cute little rat. You hear the sound of something rustling and mechanism behind the door. So is oh, he get him. It? Or is he about no. to kill us? Are you can Wilkinson? Someone hold, can someone hold Officer Tyre up so he can't like roll around and cause trouble? I can stand between him and the door so he's blocked. What do you oh, mean cause trouble? I slap Tam Tam so I can't get shot. Slam the boot shut. What do you right. mean cause trouble? No like, comment. Get yourself killed. Alright. The doctor's gonna knock on the door again. 
Anything happen? You hear a, I warned you! I warned you! And then you hear so, so someone running away from the door. Go in the opposite direction. Okay, Shall we now back that? Up? Yeah, that sounds like a backup situation. Yep. Why are we backing up when he's running away? Because it sounds like the door's going to explode on us. I'll tell oh. you what, Officer Attire, you go charging in and arrest him. I mean, after all, he is responsible for public urination. That's a terrible crime. Go in and arrest him, Officer Attire. Do your duty as a, a, a lawman. Or law tire, sure. rather. Yeah, let's go for it. I didn't realise there was a bomb, and so I'm going to also assume Officer Attire didn't realise there was probably a bomb. Alright, roll. Back up, everyone. Everyone, everyone else up. is backed up, yeah. In the boot. Alright. Officer Attire charges forward, takes a chunk out of the door, but he can't seem to get the door to go down. This is a uh, pretty sturdy door. I think yes. I'm stuck. So this flat, is it the only one on like the right hand side, or the other one on the left hand side? Is there a flat on the other side of the, that there's we could go in? The opposite, there's a flat on the opposite side of the building, in the same spot. But there's not one like door. next to it, so we no. couldn't go like next door and go through a wall. Well you okay, went through the one in the middle that you went to that you found the, the safe in, but... Go through okay. the walls there if you wanted. Yeah, can, can I go back into that flat and examine the wall and see how strong or weak or whatever it is? Yeah, sure. You guys think you could pull me out of this door before you go? Nope. <laughs> sure. I'll give it a go. My strength isn't very good, but I'll give it a go. I mean, my other option is like, filling it full of bullets and hoping that gets me out. I'm unconvinced by that, I have to say. So you try and pull off the turret, he's very much wedged in somehow. Can I try shooting the door? Yep, yeah, you can try shooting the door if you want. Oh God. If first the tire can tell us what's inside the room. I don't know, I'm not in the room yet, I'm stuck in the door. Take this door. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> so, Officer Tire riddles the door full of an entire clip's worth of bullets. The door's now full of holes, but still seems to be holding him steadfast. Okay, now can I try and pull him back out again? Yep. I mean, the door's probably weaker now. Nope, he's still wedged in there. I am a tuna with no strength. Or at least no strength in my arms. That seems reasonable, actually. You just skip skipping arm day. Yeah. Has the bomb gone off yet, or is it just... Maybe it wasn't Not a bomb. Yet. Maybe it was a lock. Could I mean, it's a good goddamn lock, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Well, it's a good door. Okay, I'm going to listen to see if I can still hear the man and whatever he's doing in there. All right. You don't hear any sounds coming, but you still hear a sort of light whirring. Okay, I'm going to report my findings to the group. Guys, there's a whirring noise, but the man's gone, I think. Are there any, like, small holes into the room that I could maybe sneak through? It's like if there's a hole in the floor or something. Considering the building's pretty rotten, you probably could, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go and <laughs> see if I could probably use one of the bullet holes. <laughs> very, very carefully peek in. All right. Everything's rotting except this damn door. All right, so let me just see how you get on. You start working your way through one of the holes. It's a sort of weird maze-like thing, but you're quite fast at working it through. But while she's working it through, what's everyone else doing? I would like to examine on the adjoining room, like the adjoining flat. See if I can like break a drywall down with my shovel. Okay. Don't know how well these flats are made, but... Roll awareness. Yep, you smack one of the particular sections of wall and your shovel goes straight through it. Oh, lovely. You work your way going around the edges of a hole big enough for yourself. So at the end of it, you have a massive hole that you can climb your way through. What is Irwaz and Tam Tam doing? Hmm. Irwaz will be possibly trying to break off a bit of the door next to Officer Tire, since they can't seem to pull Officer Tire out of the door. All right. That's what I was trying to do with the gun. Let's see if I can help out a bit. 
You managed to sort of dent a section, but you don't seem to remove anything yet. Okay. Well. It's fucking dope. I like how the safe is easier to break into than the door. Yeah. That was easy, you knew the combination. Did I try using my bone saw to help cut through the door? You can try, yes. I like to imagine it's like one of those really cheap plywood <laughs> doors that are hollow in the middle. <laughs> you managed to saw a small section of door free. Officer Tyre should be slightly easier to remove now, though he is still wedged. Okay. By the way, have I seen what's in the room yet? You're just coming into the room now. So both Index and the Doctor can now see into this room. They see, when they look at the door, the Officer Tyre is like wedged over a sort of deadbolt, a large chunk of wood going across the door in the sort of midpoint of the door. <laughs> so okay. you, know, you also see around the area you're in, you see lots and lots of black plastic bottles, there's a strong smell of ammonia. There's just lots and lots of like white plastic things as well, though like they contain various powders. It's a very strong chemical smell. Is there a person? Are there any photos? Well, first things, gonna go in and lift up the dead bolt. I mean what's the whirring? Where's this whirring coming from? The whirring seems to be coming from the light socket. Okay. Is this a red room? No. Or dark room or whatever you call them. This isn't the dark room, no. I would like to lift up the deadbolt and open the door. A red room is something very, very different. So is you, it? you lift the bar off the door, officer tire like collapses through the door. Much obliged. <laughs> Much obliged. I made is... my own door. So this seems to be like the sort of lounge area of the room. There is, it looks like a bedroom straight behind you and there's a bathroom off to the left. That looks like there's another cupboard as well to the left. All the doors seem closed. Let's go okay, to, uh, No, that's not, he's probably still hiding it somewhere around here. We need to talk to him, ask him where the photos are and then accidentally fall him out of a window. A hole in your wall. I was trying to hang my new picture and, like, the wall collapsed. I'm really sorry. Alright, can everyone do me an awareness check this inside the room? I'm not Listen. inside, but I can see inside. Is that enough? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's not enough. <laughs> Erwaz looks in and she notices that there's a lot of, like, metal, like, cage-style metal around the edge of the walls. It looks like, apart from the wall the doctor broke through, it looks like all the rest of the walls have this, like, reinforced metal around them. Faraday cage? Actually, I don't know anything about electronics. Index. It would not be a Faraday cage. Especially not if I had the gap. Bizarre, isn't it? Defensive. Okay, where was this? Where they might have gone to or through. There's only three doors, the sort of bedroom area, the bathroom, and what looks like a cupboard. Right, okay. Knock okay, on the well. cupboard first. Yeah, that tends to be where pubs hide. In my experience. Okay, well, Arwaz is gonna need to keep trying to free Officer Tire. Sort of fell through the door when the bolt was yeah. removed. Okay, so we can get in, that's fine. I guess we all go to different doors? Can if you want. Sure. I'll dips the cupboard. I'll take I the bagsy room. the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're more than welcome to join me if you want. But I promise you, like, my heart belongs to one man and one man only. <laughs> I think I'll be riding a tam tam. I'll take the bathroom. I'm sorry. You open the cupboard. The cupboard is a dark room, it looks like. It has red lights inside. It has several trays with liquids in them. And it has like small clothesline with pictures like pegged up on it. Excellent. So we just like set fire to the whole thing, right? Well, we were asked to retrieve the photographs. If the negatives are in there, then job done. I thought he wanted us to get rid of them. Mm, he said retrieve. He said get rid of the guy, not the photographs. Well, you need to retrieve the photographs. That's the important bit. Yes. He always said I was never very good at listening. Yeah. 
So, I feel like, is this like some sort of new therapy technique for Officer Tyre and Mr. E? Are we like, inevitably being like, you know how like, you get those- therapy. Yeah, like, we're going to show them how awful life is, like, dealing with other people or whatever, and they're like, oh, you know, their love will the be rekindled. Yeah. It's like, because I feel like we are. Of fanfiction.net as well. <laughs> I just have read better fan fictions. <laughs> How mm-hmm. about you two, if you can go through the photos and oh. see which ones involve like scenes from Terry's place or include us, things like that. Yeah. Or we could just take them all. We could. Take them all, deliver them all to Mr. E, and that can be his problem to deal with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just put them in the boot. <laughs> yeah. That worked. All right. Um, so you begin to start filling Tam Tam with pictures. Uh, nice. what that sounds so wrong. <laughs> does it? It really does. What, why? What's wrong with putting pictures inside me? It's like, hum nom nom, eating pictures. I just lightly tap them on the top of the case. There, it's there. a weird biological thing. Oh, biology. Well, I don't even truck with that. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it's my boots, so I guess the biological equivalent would be shoving it out my ass. It's a prison pocket. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yes, Tam Tam. That's exactly it. Yeah, Tam Tam, sure. not need that imagery. I feel like we're all rubbing off on You're... Tam Tam a little bit now. <laughs> I mean, he's coming out with some real dark stuff. I feel we've affected his sweet little spirit. We need to find him another instrument, stat. Yeah, um, I'm getting too cranky for my own good. Yeah. We need to find him like a new kazoo or maybe a triangle. Because they're a coat hanger about. Can I find a coat hanger and make Tam Tam a triangle? <gasps> or at the very least, like a washboard. A twanging <laughs> thing. Yes. Yeah. yes. No coat hangers about in the one room you have checked, but there's two other rooms you haven't checked yet. Okay. I like the other rooms. <gasps> There's probably coat hangers in a bedroom. I guess the bedroom is next, Ben. Yeah. Alright, so there's a bathroom in the bedroom. You want to go in the bedroom? Yeah, why yeah. not? Alright. We're coming in, relinquish all your coat hangers. Alright, you try and open the bedroom door. The bedroom door seems barricaded from the other side. Oh. Oh, well, we try the bathroom familiar. first. <laughs> yeah, if you want. Let's check the bathroom. Okay. Can you we open, open the door? door? You open the bathroom door and it stinks of ammonia. <sighs> and as you look, it looks like there's been like several chemicals mixed in the bath. Have mixed together in the bath. You see several like bottles, like black plastic bottles and boxes and packs of powder and stuff just lying around, including one big bag of fertilizer. Hang on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> fertilizer? <Wait>. fertilizer. <laughs> ammonia. Bathtub! Can Fertilizer. I have yeah, there's, there's not like clumps of hair in the drain or anything, is there? Not that you can see. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That's, that's... I no, was tr- going no. We need to leave right now. I was Eat going right now. Bomb. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bomb yet though, is it? It's just like fertilizer. I eat one of them ciders, guys, but like... Well, maybe yeah, he's but... just dipo- disposing people down the bath. How big is the bag yeah, of I'm using lime for that. The bag yeah. doesn't look that big, it's about maybe a kilogram bag. Does... Okay, it's more likely to be a bomb then. Let's take Does the, the bathroom wall adjoin the bedroom wall? It does, yes. I'll brandish my shovel. So, like right I said, I ain't one of them, like, science boys. But, like, Stein, you seem like a pretty smart cookie. Or at least a pretty smart cracker. Maybe you, you could whip up wall. something and blow a hole in the wall. Uh, what, can't we just like... I could try smashing it with a shovel. I mean, you could. But look how well that worked out for me. It worked well for me last time, though. Sure, I could try making a bomb. <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna stop you Do you want me you to make a bomb? To... I feel like no, smashing the wall I... is safer. Let's I do ain't gonna sure. stop you if just you want to hit the... the wall with the shovel. I think I'm gonna hit the wall with the shovel. All right. Please. <laughs> it seems much safer. <laughs> you just smash through the wall, it collapses inwards, and inside seems to just be a single bed and what looks like a humanoid-sized like sized shape with a sheet over it. 
Wilkinson! Oh jeez, I wonder where he could be hiding, guys. I guess we'd better <laughs> leave this room. He's clearly not in here. <laughs> you look at the door itself in the bedroom, there seems to be a chair like wedged underneath the door so it couldn't open. Can I go poke the mound under the right. sheet with my shovel? Are you walking up to it then poking it? Or are you going to put a hand on the sheet and then poke it? What are you going to do? Walk it up and then poke it. All right. Index is still in the boot, right? Yeah. Good. Good. As you walk up to it and you're standing directly in front of it, you hear a click. Uh oh. I'll stop well, moving. Uh, it was nice knowing you, you doctor. You then watch the shape. It's like it's beginning to animate. The sort of arm area rises up, and then it sounds like. Can I run and hide in the bathtub? As this massive set of symbols seem to be smashing together incredibly loudly. <gasps> symbols! Ow! I'm, I'm going to uh, zoom in as fast as my little thrusters can manage. Alright. No. No, I'm imminent. leaping out and I'm jumping onto Dr. Stein's shoulder. Yeah, I'll catch it. Yeah. And then go hide the bathtub. Okay. What's time I'm doing now? I'm just gonna sit there in rapt admiration of the fact that symbols. I'm just gonna I stare guess... at the sheet covered thing that seems to be smashing symbols together. Yeah, well, technically, I suppose I'm also recording it as I go. But eventually, I'm sure I'll decide that I want to, you know, actually take them with me. But for now, I'm just staring and listening. All right. So what's Officer Tyre doing? So I mean, is nothing's exploded yet, right? No, nope, nothing's exploded. Irwaz has basically dropped and curled into a ball just from the sheer level of noise. This is painful. Like, actively painful for them. Fair enough. Can I just, like, roll forward and hit the mound with my baton and see if that stops it? <laughs> <laughs> roll. Roll as in move forward or roll as in dice? You plunge forward, you smack your baton across it. The symbols stop for a second. Then the shape seems to rise up to a full human height. And the symbols begin again, only faster. Hey, you got that shit out. <laughs> I'm gonna start adding a drum beat to the same beat as the symbols. Or like a, a pop beat, I guess. Alright. Can Tam Tam play the exact inverse of a sound wave? Why, yes. It's, it, it, what it is, is just the same sound wave, but shifted 90 degrees. It's a lot more yeah. complicated than that, actually, now that I think about it, but... Yes, basically. What I am suggesting is essentially destructive interference. <laughs> yeah, I reckon I could do that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Fair. So, like, is the sheet still over this figure? Yeah. So this is like a humanoid figure standing on a bed, smashing. Yep. Tyre, pull the sheet off! She says, cowering in the bathtub with index. I thought the bathtub was full of, like, fertilizer and stuff. It was full of chemicals, full so of chemicals, I dread yeah. to think of what's burning the doctor right now. Well, the smell of chemicals, was it not empty? It was full of fertilizer, at least, wasn't it? Oh, there was a bag of fertilizer. Bag, there was a bag of fertilizer and there was lots of other chemicals there. Like Were they in the bathtub? Yep. Oh. Well, I've got whaley boots, I'm fine. Ah, oh, that works. I imagine I'm being, like, held kind of by the doctor <laughs> in the air, yeah. in the bathtub. Yeah, when you're in a post-apocalyptic world, welly boots. It'll save yeah. your life more times than you think. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Sure. I'll pull the cloth off. I Thank will you. remove the All sheet. Right, roll to pull the sheet off. Alright, you pull the sheet off. There is a human-sized monkey that is slamming two giant symbols together and as you remove the sheet the noise gets about ten times worse. Is it a live monkey or is it a it's giant a one it's of the models? It's a mechanical. Okay. I am relieved. I would like to take this opportunity to smash the mechanical monkey then. 
All right, what do you want to do? Smash the mechanical monkey. With what? I know, like my baton. All right, roll brawling. You crack the monkey around the head again. The head is off to a horrific angle, but it seems to sort of stop and it turns its head towards you and then the symbols begin again, but directed towards Officer Tyre. <laughs> Could you like not do that? Can everyone roll me an awareness, please? Oh no, it's... The doctor and Irwaz hear the sound of whirring. I is thought we were coming from the monkey. Nope. Where's it coming from? It's coming from back the way you were. Can I follow the sound? Mm-hmm. Are you want to come with me, Index, or...? Uh, I'll sit on your shoulder. Okay. Um, Irwaz I... is kind of crawling towards the sound of the whirring, with, like, one hand still over her ear. As you oh. walk back into the main room, you notice, like, some of the cage parts of the walls seem to be extending slowly, like moving along the track to complete a full square. Uh, are we inside a giant mech building? So that no. would be really cool. It's probably just a cage. Occam's razor, my friend. Yeah, like, is this forming a cage? It's forming a cage in the main room, yes. What about the main entrance door? The main entrance door is having a bit of a cage move over it. Cover and it what about the bit where the doctor broke through the wall? It's got cage just slightly lower down from where she broke in the wall. Right. Okay. Okay. And as it finishes it its movement and stops, you hear the sound of... Not going to describe as the sound of electricity. Shit! Everyone get on rubber boots! I mean, I feel like I'm alright. I'm covered in rubber. The only person at risk here is Irwaz. Yep. Because otherwise... Irwaz, stand on the tyre! I, I hover. The tyre is I jump on top of the tyre. Hang on. So, see the hole that I made? Yep. You said that some of the mesh is over it. Yep. Is there enough room to dive out the hole? Uh, if you can jump a bit five foot in the air and clear it, then yes. Okay. <laughs> what I mean, would I have to I roll could, for that? I could probably try it. <laughs> Not or sure you can, option. Or, you, or can. you could ride me like a circus seal. It's up to you. In fairness, I'm on the ground. It's probably easier for me to get to Officer Tyre. So what are you all doing now? Hiding on top of Officer Tyre. So what's Officer Tyre doing? Being ridden like a circus seal. <laughs> <laughs> is is this a... Pink Spurry who's just not got out yet. I mean, it might, be, it, it might become one. <laughs> so, all you can hear at this point, apart from this warm buzz of electricity, is the deafening sound of these cymbals. God, that's still really painful. Oh. This might be a good plan, or it might be terrible. Can I taser the monkey? You can try. Oh god. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One. Oh. Okay. What happens is the monkey becomes even more powerful and starts slamming the symbols quicker. There's a phrase. The monkey becomes even more powerful. So now, instead of it being like... It's now just... So it's now lots of very, very harsh sound waves are in the air. What if just a bunch of us start shooting the monkey with, like, guns? No, no, Can't no, no. Don't throw it out guys, the window? Guys, 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 window guys, guys. <gasps> Stop! Yeah. Well, Stop, guys. You just, you just need to speak its language. You just need to make music back at it. What if I challenge it to a music off? Yeah? See who explodes first. Alright. If right. nothing else, it will have to stop to start the challenge. It's better than my idea of me and Iroha like, circus acting towards it. We so. make a circus act towards it, and then we throw it out the window. Yeah. So to issue this challenge, uh, what do I roll? Just a regular? Uh, just do a regular roll and we'll see how it reacts to it. Does the monkey respond? The monkey doesn't care. Oh. Well, in that case, do whatever you like with it. Circus act it is. He right. yeesh out the window. 
so I'm assuming that Iroha is going to try and stay on top of us as we roll towards the monkey to grab it and yeet it out of a window. Yep, definitely. Well, the monkey's about the same size as Iroha, just saying. Oh, it's a big monkey. It's a big monkey. It's got yes. massive symbols as well. Could we just take the symbols off of it? And yes. So that change works. the plan. Instead of taking the monkey and eating the monkey, we're just going to take the symbols. All right. Rogue's trying to get the symbols off the monkey. Surely that would be Irwaz, because Irwaz is standing on top of me and would have the reach to grab the symbols. Okay, would that be strength? It would typically be strength to try and wrestle some symbols off a mechanical monkey, if that's up to you. Yep, natural 20. Okay. You rip the symbols off the monkey. The eyes in the monkey seem to go red. Its hands sort of go up as if it's about to start punching you. I move backwards out the way. Clap its head with the symbols. Okay. I, I like this suggestion. All right. I can try roll, that. Roll music. <laughs> roll music? <laughs> well, yeah, it can't just be me rolling music all the time, can it? Yeah. Hey, you are playing an instrument. I like, <laughs> I like the idea of you hit someone with a guitar, you have to roll music for that. Yep. It's beautiful. I don't have music. A normal rule then. To be fair, they're not the most difficult of instruments. Hey. Fucking hell. Hey. Yep. You clatter the symbols around the monkey's head. The monkey immediately puts his hand up to his ear, staggers backwards, and. Falls out a window? He might fall out the window, <laughs> in a row. Yeah, he falls out the window. <laughs> yeah. Plummets to the ground, and you hear a crunch. And you look oh. out the window, and you see he's like buried head first in the pavement, and he's just crumpled heap. So, can I roll to the window again, hopefully with Irawa's, like, circus acting on top of me and just be like, Hey, quit monkeying around down there. Can I then smack the tire for the terrible, terrible pun? Yep. Just kick him. Step on him harder. Don't do that. Okay, another make that much difference. <laughs> Right, so what are you going to do to get out of this place? Is the room still whirring? Yep, the cage is complete in that room, so both doors to that room have been blocked by cage. I mean, I mean if the monkey fell out of the window, there's a clear exit. I know, right? I want and to know where the... One of us can I fly. Can. Index can ride on me. The tire will probably be fine being chucked out, so then it's just you two that we need to work out. That's Maybe the guy was the monkey. Is my little hole back out still there? Yes, you can escape that way. Can mm. I search the bedroom now that I'm no longer deafened by the goddamn monkey yep. to check for, like, another way out? Because it doesn't seem reasonable for the friend not all gold. You check under the bed, you find a quite old style camera, complete with flash bulb. Mm -hmm. I quite like the image of Iroaz standing on top of what is quite a large tire and somehow looking under a bed at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if he's still on top of the tire, but it, it amuses me nonetheless. So, I'm just thinking about this. So, it was just the main room that's been locked in the cage. Yep. So, if the doctor was in the main room, she was, she's in the cage. Great. <laughs> Is the floor cage too? Nope, just seems to be the walls. Oh, can I use my shovel to smash through the floor? Yep, sure. Woo! I'll do that. Would, would that not be a dig? Well, I'm kind of smashing. Maticking would be the ideal tool, but unfortunately what I have is a shovel, so I'm like, I'm not digging, I'm smashing. When all you have is a shovel. And all you have is shovel and you roll a natural 20. Jesus, there's been so many natural 20s tonight. <laughs> yep. This is weird. You just chip your way through the floor, escape that way. As you escape that way, the floor around you crumbles and you collapse to the floor below, complete with all the bottles and like boxes and everything of all the chemical stuff around. Oh shit, yeah. Can I take as much of that as I can carry? Yep. <laughs> Sweet. So can I just like lift myself out of the window and rely on my rubberiness to not die. If you want to try that. Where's the dude? The dude was the monkey, did we figure? 
I mean, we didn't see any, like, signs of another way out. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, and I completely failed. <laughs> so, in lieu of any other evidence, I'm just going to assume that he was the monkey? Or that he went out the window. Yeah. Well, I at the end just... of the day, we were told to put someone out a window. As far as we know, this is welcome to... And we yeah, put and we got the someone picture. out the window. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we got the pictures. Yeah. Electronic yeah, go. doesn't, you know, got... discount them. They've got mission complete, and I'm going to yeet myself out the window. All right, roll to see how you land. Watch the twenties dry up right now. <laughs> There's been a lot of nines too. Yeah, it's kind of been weird tonight. Let's see what happens. Do I at least bounce? You basically slam into the ground on your spikes, impaling yourself into the ground. So you don't bounce, but you can't move. So I'm all right, guys, but I'm a little stuck. <laughs> Oh, not again. Can we go get the car and drive it around? <laughs> yep, so how is the rest of you going to get out? Imagine time is just going to fly down. I'm just going to fly down. Index, are you still with Suzy Q or are you with me? Which is the easiest way out? Probably with Tam Tam. Okay, I'll like go in Tam Tam's boot for that bit then. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. Just before I fly down, are the symbols still intact or are they destroyed? Yes, they are still intact. Excellent. They're I'm going both to take quite them with large. Me. They're about the same size as like your diameter. Mm. I'm going to tie one of them behind me and try to be careful not to bash it about too much. And I'm going to grab the other with my little grabber arm. Okay. I don't know how. Yeah, if my, I'm hoping my thrusters are strong enough. enough. All right. So it's now just Erwaz and I suppose the doctor found her way out. So just Erwaz. Can I try and climb down? Yep. Oh, God. Uh, Yep, you managed to make your way down. It takes you a bit longer than you'd like, but you get to the ground eventually. Okay, that's so fine. You all look at this broken, crumpled body of this monkey next to you. The eyes are still glowing slightly red, even though it's twisted and broken beyond anything else. Yeah, it's a real shame. You think a guy Hi, can monkey. push me out now? I am going to give it a ceremonial clash of the symbols, because they were his symbols. And although I am taking them, he deserves to hear them one last time. Alright. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think he's hearing anything right now. So, I imagine you get back in your cheese van. Are you going back, <laughs> for, are you going back for your painting, Dr. Stone? Oh yeah! Right. <laughs> they should have done that on our way out. Just to come back out with our painting and, like, looted any other flats or rooms she might have found on the way down. And as the global surveillance satellite moves out of range, we lose sight and sound for now. Hopefully Signal will return again soon. Until then, the cast of 2115 were Amy, Belry, Dragon, John, Rowan, Susie, Tom and Nikolai. With music by Daniel Bustrom and artwork by John Moore. All tales and experiences within 2115 were created by Nikolai Pupsky before being broken and reshaped by the cast into an eternal sense of hopeless dystopia. But if the threat of eternal dystopia looms in your future, comfort yourself with the finest icosahedrons in the land from dndice.co.uk where the name Penance RPG at checkout will shave 10% off your order and make that fear lessen, at least for a while. Penance RPG exists only through the kind support of patrons and quiet sobbing into the void. If you would like to assist in the balance of support versus our crying hungrily in the fetal position, Come to patreon.com slash penisrpg and choose one of our epic rewards. We are eternally grateful for any support you could give. Farewell for now, and remember, smile! It might never happen!
did we bring any buckets of the unrefined stuff with us? Or did we just get the hell out of Dodge? I think you took a little bit with you. I think I have a few vials. Yeah, um, yeah, but oh, I think okay, a few vials. Because uh, I was thinking, if you brought back like a buckets with, maybe we could set it to distill. You know, while we do whatever we do today, mm. but if it's we... only a vial. If we start selling it as an enterprise, can the logo be a crab? Yes, gonna have to be. And crab we can oil. feed any business rivals to the crab. Exactly. Yes. Oh, crab oh. cult. Crab cult. I can get behind this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we won't if, need to pay for security. If I was security. playing a different character, I would be all about Crab Cult. Crab Cult. In fact, I might have another character. <laughs> <laughs> Please let your next character be a crab. I was gonna say, can I have, like, a crab faunus? Oh, not faunus, that's from something else. A crab, whatever they're called. Gelf. 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 Genetically the form. That makes sense. Can I have a crab one? Is that on the list? It's not, but... It I am he who is. speaks for the crabs. I imagine the interaction between Crab Gelf and Tuna Gelf will be interesting. I mean, crabs are pretty tough. Plus snippy hands. Get snipped. <laughs> I feel like a crab would be really good at brawling. I'm inclined to agree. Index, help me. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Help me decrypt this file entitled file? Crab Rave. I want to work out... It's a music file, that much I can tell. But I need to I think decrypt it's it. it's pronounced Crab Rave. Oh, that's the right there we go. I was wondering what it was. I'm thinking a glorious red gowns for our crab cult. <laughs> that seems um, appropriate. And we can have of... little clippy hand pieces and yes. Everyone has castanets. <laughs> Everyone uses... Everyone's holding scissors. <laughs> oh, don't you love the sound of scissors though? Like when you snip scissors, isn't it such a nice sound? It is quite a nice sound. I agree. Wait, does this mean that there's like a hierarchy? Castanets are like lowest, followed by scissors, shears. Ooh. Oh, ceremonial crab scissors. Yes! Oh my god. So like everyone uses castanets except like the high crab priest who uses the ceremonial crab scissors in like the crab rituals where the tribute to sacrifice to the mother crab. Oh exactly! God. We can like bound and gag and we can put them on the beach and then you know, with the power of crab noises and our glorious robes, summon the crab mother and I give am, her a snack. I am so going to play a crab cultist. I think Index is now a crab cultist. Welcome to the fall. <laughs> can, I, I can I make a sign her. that just says crab cult headquarters <laughs> or something and I hang it up and it's like rat sized though, so it's like a post of note. So, your was is taking some water, uh, or what we still think is water, out of the big tank and is like rinsing out her gills because she got sand in them and that's just oh. uncomfortable. Wouldn't that happen to fish a lot though? No, because Especially they're in the water. That, like... yeah, but if, like... they, if there's sand mixed in, if it gets blown up though, they probably do. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, the kind of fish that like burrow into the sand or like a bottom feed is probably yeah, have to deal with Yeah, but they also have the muscles that can close them over. Yes. And also, had, that's not what a tuna does. They wasn't really focusing on closing their gills because they were trying to get away from this fucking crab. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Be polite to the crab. He's I our mean, glorious leader. I was showing a great amount of respect for the strength of the crab. I see. Oh, I kind of want Officer Tear to die now so I can be a crab person. <laughs> I mean, Officer Tear can convert to the crab cult. No, it doesn't feel right for him. That's okay. You could retire him. You could send him back Just off. Retire him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, spending time with the, us guys is just reminding him he too much of tragic together. backstory. Yeah. To eat and return and have a, a glorious kind of romance off in the background while you make a new character. Retire him. He needs retiring anyway because he's perished. It's already taken the tire off, so it should be easy enough. Also, no legs club. Technically, none of my characters so far have had legs. Poor Nikolai yeah. didn't come back to edit this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to run by making an, a crab gelf with him <laughs> and how that yeah. would work. Or poor Meow, she might edit this one. I don't know. It does remind me that I was going to buy a new set of monitor headphones because I ran over the cable with my chair and they're currently held together with electrical tape. I'm just sorry for that whole thing. 
Well, at least he apologised. Mm. The cube daughter. Cubit. No, Cuberta. Don't no, misname Cuberta. my daughter. Cuberta. It's literally just a whole ring cube. Yeah. If Mr. E and Officer Attire had sex, who would be get pregnant? Like, that's pretty obvious, like... It's gotta be Officer Attire. Attire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was the hardest 13 months of my life carrying Cubert. It was worth it. Index is just holding her face in her hands. It's alright. You're deaf. You don't have to listen to this shit. <laughs> I don't need to listen to this shit to want to hold my face in my hands. Yeah. Rowan has to listen to it, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I really hope that I don't get Officer Attire killed before I can retire him, because I really want him to just be around in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling about. Uh, Might be wise. I feel like Officer Attire is sharing a lot more with us than we share with him. <laughs> it's Oversharing. not like... It's voluntary for the rest of us. <laughs> this is true. We're enduring it really, aren't we? We're just here. This is not how therapy is meant to work. Uh, what about listen. my past life could I even bring up? Like, I was a lab rat. There's literally nothing going on there apart from being shoved in test tubes. <laughs> mazes. Uh, yeah, mazes. So many mazes. <laughs> Where's the cheese? Who moved my cheese? Um, I don't even like cheese. <laughs> Oh, so you I'm guys are vegan. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> yeah, that's better, right? You lactose intolerant. He's a lactose intolerant, <laughs> narcoleptic, deaf rat with three legs. Poor sod. Oh, character development. So, you get back in your cheese mobile and fire off back to your base. Does anyone have anything else to wish to add before we stop? Did we find any petunias on the way? Sadly We not. can find oh. some on the way back. Just what are you going to do with the cheese mobile? Are you going to park it just outside, considering how close you were to the person you stole it from, or are you going to put it somewhere else? Um... <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll just come outside. Over it. <laughs> I mean, if we, park it, if we park it exactly where it was, they'll never even know it was gone. Yeah, this yeah, is but... very true. They might then drive it away thinking that it's still there, bad. <laughs> so we'll, well steal another still one! Bad. <laughs> we'll just put like a tarp over it. Just park it down a different alley. That's what you want to do? <laughs> or yeah. could we hide it behind the helicopter? The helicopter's out in the woods. Uh. Who actually hidden that? I mean, we could drive it out and hide there, but it kind of defeats the point in having a car. <laughs> I say we just park it in the street and what will be will be. <laughs> Fair enough. Presumably we left the monkey behind, yep. with his red glowing eyes. Unless for any reason you want to take the monkey with you? Well... No. I was going to have an examination of, like, is it a person in a suit? It's definitely a full mechanical thing. A full mechanical thing. Has it got an AI unit? Is it going to come back and extract vengeance? Will it fit in the van so I can take part? It's a big enough van, you can pull it in if you want. His eyes are still glowing red though, so yep. it's like dead homicidal. Can I find an off switch? Take it into the van, I'm sure, on the way. Actually, you're driving, so maybe you can't <laughs> find the way back. Maybe Index can find an off switch. I okay. can try. So you've now stolen the remains of the monkey, <laughs> taken it back to your base, and... Turned your... it off. I assume if you chew through enough cables, it'll turn off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably. 